Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the DC Comics multi, uh, DC Multiverse Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman film. We have a nice cool review of her in box. We have art or not artwork, but we have a picture from the film here. We have Wonder Woman, the Aries series. You can see um, the Wonder Woman logo at the top. On this side, we have like the regular red, and on this side, we have the same picture and a bio for her, so that's pretty cool. And on the back, we have the other characters available and a look at the Collect and Connect. So, um, the reason why I'm reviewing this now, you know, uh, this came out last year, is because Five and Below is actually carrying the entire Aries wave for $5. Which is pretty amazing considering that uh, one of these figures, um, like, you know, like just one of them in general would have been $20 when originally released, and you can pay $20 and get all four of the main characters and complete Ares. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, definitely go check out your Five and Blows. They're getting these in along with the Justice League, Parademon, and Aquaman. And uh, yeah, that's an amazing price and a really good deal. So let's open this up. So here we have Wonder Woman, and as you can see, she's kind of like in her cloak from the film. Uh, and this is probably the major reason why they probably decided to do this was they've released a lot, a lot of Wonder Womans in the multiverse series. And since she really only has one costume in the DCU, it would be a lot of re-releases. Like, they did a Sink of Toys R Us one for the movie, and then they did uh, one for Justice League and Dawn of Justice. So you can see kind of why they would try to change it up a little bit. I think the designs on the face are pretty nice. I think they did a good job with it, especially the paint. It looks a lot like the actress, and you can also see the tiara there, which is cool, and you can see the hair. The hood is also really cool, and I like the designs on the cloak. You can kind of see the fur on the side of it and on the sleeves. That's pretty cool how they designed it. The suit is also neat. You can see... Um, designs on it it's got like the dark red and gold and uh, you can see like where her soul uh, sword i believe you can actually put that there like the holster for the sword which is cool and you can also see the lasso of truth which is pretty neat i don't think this is removable but still really cool that they included that and the designs on her arms are really nice too. You can see the silver and the gold, and it wraps around the hands. And then also on the boots, it has the gold that goes around with the red, so that's pretty cool. And the cloak. The cloak is actually kind of removable, uh, but the arms are molded on, and the hood is not removable. So it'd be kind of weird to just remove that. Uh, but in terms of articulation, you have a 360 of the head. Uh, you can kind of look up and down a little bit. You have a 360 of the arms. They swing out the shoulder. You have 360 there. Uh, 360 of the elbow and single joint elbow. 360 at the wrist. There's a free 60 at the torso. The legs come forwards, backwards, and outwards, but it's a little hindered um, due to the skirt, but there's also a free 60 at the thigh, a single joint at knee, and the feet also move up and down. So pretty good in terms of articulation and for accessories, you get her sword, which is pretty cool. And uh, just to show you, it does go into the holster, which is neat. I like the designs on it. It's got some little ridges in the middle, and it's gold and silver and pretty cool. And you can just slide that into her hands. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, like I said, definitely check out your five and blows. Um, this is a really amazing deal. It's a really great action figure and one I definitely recommend. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.